Okay, so let's create the our PET machine. So for the first thing that we need is this beautiful white board. And then what we need to do is to put these 3D printed legs on it. So I'm using REHC100 to control the temperature and this is the same module I guess the same temperature control which I've used for my filament extrusion system and this works best I would say it can control the temperature from 0 to 400 degrees celsius and it comes with a k-type thermistor And to control the speed of puller, I'm using this 12 to 24 volt speed controller for my gear DC motor. And this is the heart of this machine. It's a 12 volt 15 amp power supply, which I'll be using to, con to power the heater and the DC motor. So you can look at the wiring, this is how I done it, I don't want to bore you with the wiring stuff, so I, this is a chart, this is a picture, and you and this depicts how the wiring should be done. And to hold the DC mode, I designed this beautiful motor holder with a honeycomb pattern, and, and I think it's looking beautiful. What do you say? Comment down below. That's why I give the honorable mention to this part in this video. And this is the motor. Well, I'm not using any type of like gear reduction system that you have saw using the biggest pool and then you have two, three gears because I'm using this powerful 8.3 Newton meter torque gear DC motor, which I've used for my filament extreme system. I'm using the same motor for this PET machine because it's really, really powerful. I, I, because the filament extrusion system requires a lot of power in order to rotate the auger. So I think this motor have enough torque, but it's more than enough torque to pull out the, the PET strip and also the low RPM because the max RPM this motor can get up to its 10. And I've installed this nozzle system over in here. And you can see you need to drill at least 1.75 millimeter hole in the nozzle. Or you can make 2 millimeter because finding a 1.75 millimeter drill bit is kind of hard. And you need to make a little bit wider at the back of it like you're seeing in this video so that the PET strip can easily go through it. And this is a beautiful bottle stripper. You can see you can put in one blade and you can easily cut down this strip into like 6, 7, 8. 10 and 12 millimeter it depends on the thickness of bottle and you can easily put your blade into this so we're gonna use this small uh, thermal cutter for this thing so all we need to do is just take out the back cap of it and just take out the blade and you can break the blade a little bit because it is easily breakable you can break it and then put it into this stripper So our machine is completely done. You can see stripper, then the nozzle system, RHC1 and the speed control. And this is our motor with the spool on it. And you can easily control the speed. And if we come to the size of this machine, which is I think really compact, you can see it's 370 millimeter in length and in breadth, it is 200 millimeter. And it is very lightweight and you can easily remove the spool if you want to. Now the third lap step is to reveal this label from the bottle you're using to cut it down into strips and also remove the addition which is used to stick this label on this bottle you can use anything like alcohol isopropylene alcohol in order to remove this or you can use just water and a scraper and it will work fine now after all these process all you need to do is to put a little water inside the bottle and go to your kitchen and fire up the stove and rotate keep on rotating the bottle at the good distance so that it can smooth 
all the design that I've company created on the bottle so it will be easier for you to cut down into the strip form without breaking it from the middle uh, something like this basically and then just cut out this bottle from the bottom we're using a any blade or scissor and now is the last step is to make it into strip form These are the few settings that you have to do is to set the nozzle temperature to 250 degrees Celsius and a bed temperature to 70 degrees Celsius for PET filament. So as we are reaching towards the success, we met with our first biggest failure. Well, I met few other failures too, but this is like the biggest one. You can see it has not printed properly and the reason behind this is this filament. Well, I cut down this strip in 6 millimeter, and the problem is it's unable to like the strip was like kind of less broad. So it's unable to become like fully rotate around filament because of that the extruder was slipping and missing steps and unable to feed in this filament so we have to change like the increase the strip size and increase the nozzle temperature a little bit so it make it more rounder and so this is the first issue that we have faced and i have to fix this okay so let's give it another shot so this time i'm using this white container which is used to store sweets and i'm going to use it it's like almost like a peach bottle but it, it is kind of like smoother finishing and it is white in color so of course our print is going to be white so i'm going to cut it down and then i'm going to strip it into a eight millimeter strip so let's try it how it's going to be turned out and we'll see the so uh, i did my one of my biggest mistake i actually have paused the recording and i'm able to record the stripping process and the uh, other stuff so directly i just came to like this print stuff so i printed this thing you can see a lot of stringing because it's like it also includes some other material in it so it is not like a plastic bottle that uh, or coca-cola bottle just a little different so you can see a lot of stringing there are a lot of sticking shoe on the bed so i have to use like a glue stick in order to make it stick on the bed but still it worked you can see a lot of stringing uh the layers are smooth by the way and it is completely what just like pla so I would say it's a kind of successful, this machine is working, I'm going to provide you the files so you can go to the link in the description and click on it and you can go to the website and download it from there. So thanks for watching guys, love you all, goodbye.